Hey, what's up guys? So today it is Sunday morning and it has already been an insanely crazy day. Uh, let me tell you why. So uh, last yesterday found out there was going to be a truck hitting a Toys R Us about 45 minutes away from me. So I uh, got my lazy butt off, uh, lazy butt up on a Sunday, on a Sunday morning early. Got to that Toys R Us. They open at 10. Uh, I got there like 9.55 and there was already five collectors lined up in front of the store. So yeah, clearly not the first guy to find out about the truck. But um, yeah, so we all went in. Uh, three of the collectors went. So this store has two sections. One big peg section at the front. One small peg section where the Hot Wheels are. Three of them went to the, to the big section. I was like, you know what? COVID, not going to go. Went to the uh, regular pegs. Found these first. Team Transports. Very happy to find. Uh, I know these are flooding in the States, but here in Canada, we don't. We don't get any, so glad to find a set of those. Uh, pink darts, really nice. This I just got because it's kind of part of the set. And the Corvette is just really nice, so may grab a second one open when they flood Walmart. Uh, looked through the tiny peg section of hot, regular Hot Wheels, and guess we'll get to this. Uh, didn't find anything. Went to the big peg section, which by now was pretty empty, so looked through it. No one really found anything I saw, but found a few of these R34s. Which people have been, uh, local collectors still need. This is a two-year-old card by now, in case you didn't know. Regular, obviously. And, uh, yeah, so, nothing there. Went back to the regular peg section. I forgot to mention as well, when I found these, I looked over. And there was this set. Now, I never found this Golf Silverado, and there was only two cars there. There was the Studebaker and the Silverado. So, why someone would leave this, I do not know. And take the others from the set, although the axle looks kind of bent. Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Glad to have it nonetheless. Maybe that's why they left it, I don't know. But finally got one of those in a really weird way. But uh, yeah, so you know, I was looking through. And this tiny peg section in the back, um, I did find this. I don't have it yet. And I can tell it's 2021 A case because it has this weird little thing on the top. But I collect uh, NASCAR, so I like this Impala. And that was pretty much it. And uh, so I watched all 10 collectors look through this tiny pick section. None of them found anything. I saw there was a couple cases in the back room. So I was just waiting to see if they take those out for me. And, you know, I was like, you know what? May as well look through the tiny pick section. And I kid you not, there was one peg that I missed. One peg out of three cars. And the middle one was this. So I, I, I like, I, I almost did a backflip when I found it. I pulled it in front of like two collectors and eventually everyone saw me holding this so it was it was pretty crazy second GT40 found I still can't believe yeah obviously I put it in a protector when I got home but oh my god so yeah everyone's finding 2021 supers you know Chevelle supers I'll I'll take my old soup old soup's always good soup especially when it's probably the best super of the year and, uh, yeah, so that was cool, and they actually did end up bringing back, bringing out a couple cases from the back. Now I just got my receipt, bought a bunch of cars. Actually, before they brought these out, they brought these out, and these I've actually been looking for. They've been hitting our Walmarts, and obviously I didn't hit any. I did actually pretty, want, I actually wanted this set pretty bad, but it's just another lesson in life, guys. You don't, like, you, patience is rewarded. I've never seen the set. Didn't go looking for it, and I just happened to stumble across it, so we got two of each car. Uh, the only one I did leave, I left one of these cars of the 10. It's this one. I left the extra one. Just got one for myself. Um, we got pretty much all the other ones in the set. We got the, um, we'll get to that. Pink Scion seems to be a favorite, along with the black CRX, black on black. This VW is kind of stuck in here. Hold on. Wow. All right. Come on. There we go. Got a VW Golf Mark II. And the last one on the side I think is going to be the White Skyline. And the rest are just going to be duplicates. White Skyline. So cool set. Again, duplicates. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put these back in the box. Give me a sec. They're now back in the box. So we're going to go ahead and uh, leave that right there. And uh, yeah, so the couple cases that they brought out of main lines they had... Uh, they were 2019 C cases, so two years old. We got some good stuff. The Guaxilla, red CRX. Just got a Groomo bill. I'm not sure why I did that, but I got it. More red CRXs. Again, two-year-old JDM cars, so very good. More R34s. Weird thing about these is that they had a 2019 AK Civic in the 2019 C case. So usually they do get carried over, but not quite like that. 
so uh, that's that's a, that was a bit weird, but not complaining. I do have a few of them now, but you know, it's a Civic. doesn't doesn't hurt to have more. Um, all right, so yeah, so at that point, so that was cool. You know, super pumped about the super and all the other stuff. But I got home, and uh, again, I don't find supers often. Like I this, <laughs> I haven't found a super since March, uh, excluding that one. But I got home, and there was a mail call from one of my buddies. And since I suck at hunting, uh, yeah, they just hooked me up. So uh, this wasn't part of it, obviously. We found that in the store. Some extra stuff he threw in, some mystery models. So this is going to be the Mark II in blue. He got me, this is the Bone Shaker Chase from the uh, Space series, if you want to call it that. And this is the NSX from this series. So appreciate the, extra, the extras, brother. Appreciate it. And um, got some premium, so we don't, we didn't get this wave at all any of these here in Canada, so good to get some Hoonigans, cool piece, uh, I don't know, is there a very, oh, there is a variation, all right, so, thank you, I don't know if you did it on purpose, but I do have a variation, there is a chrome engine, and there is a kind of a black chrome engine, so thank you, I appreciate that, uh, not like that affects value too much, it's just cool. I got four more Ford SVT Lightnings. These have been flooding where he's been where he lives, so got me some of those. Another extra he threw in Treasure Hunt Silverado. I like. I'll get to that. Um, I, we I opened a couple P cases. These apparently don't. Con th these aren't in international P cases, so appreciate that. That's going to the collection, and I got a full set of ID cars. Now the only ones I really needed. Um, no, the only one I really needed. Only two I really needed were was this one actually this charge is brand new from the q case charger id car uh yeah um the rest are just extras including that batmobile is pretty cool aston aston's a cool one probably my favorite to be honest with you aston martin 177 cool cool id car uh some m2 chases because again i suck at hunting got a double cab sprite truck m2 chase I love that little canopy on top. Very, very cool. And one M2 chase that I really wanted and I was able to locate at a very good price, the Camaro. Now, it did take a couple scratches in shipping. It's all good. 1972 Camaro Z28 VP Racing. 750 pieces. Crap, man. My favorite my favorite Camaro. Got it. Uh, Gani Supers. So, uh, we got this case in Canada. Um... Basically, no one found it. So, we got one with a little bit of a dent there. He did tell me about that. So, we got the Gold Circle Flame logo. In case you're wondering, people watching this wondering what the heck I'm talking about. Supers, very rare pieces. Search up online or watch my video that I posted quite a bit ago on what a Super Treasure on is. But for all the, all you do know, Pagani Huayra Roadster P case. Cool piece. And I got two of them. So... 2020 thing, they got this gold circle flame as always, and they have this, uh, congratulations, you probably can't read it, it says, congratulations, um, we're celebrating 25 years of treasure hunts, and you just found one, found one, and as you can see, with the international carded supers, which is the crap we find here in Canada, it does not say that, so there's your variation, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, uh, what else, what else, what else, like, anything else, yeah, so this was Walmart, so I grabbed, I grabbed these at, uh, Walmart, uh, this was a late night hunt, about a couple days ago now, so we got a Matchbox Cruisers, may as well go over these, some cool main lines, new Matchbox, oh yeah, this was, with, was the, uh, live hunt, so you can check that out, very happy to find that, although someone took the Bugatti, Koenigsegg the Jesco's, and finally got this little Tonica. I like the car, and I wasn't able to find it, so fine, thank you. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, uh, actually, over here, I do take these. These are the little Jada Fast and Furious displays. And these are really good for displaying, like, uh, let me show you. I got a few of them in there. Very good for displaying Supers and any Jada 143 models you have, but mainly Supers. Like, you can just fit them in there like that, and they can fit... These are a bit bigger, but for the regular size protector cases, you can fit like five in here, and it's a cool display piece, so grab those. Anyways, uh, this video is almost 10 minutes, so for all of you stuck to the end, thank you very much. Appreciate it, and uh, yeah, that's going to be about it. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching.